God Almighty God is our ancestors. We call upon you to come and witness the family have returned home. Our family members have returned home. Oh, we call upon the spirits and the ancestors of this land called Itri to bear witness that our family members are here in the house of One Africa and they have returned home as it has been prophesied that they shall go out into the wilderness, into the African diaspora. But one day, one day, prophecy shall be fulfilled and they shall return to the land of their natural ancestral inheritance. And you are the ones that have done so. You have fulfilled prophecy. You are not tourists. You are not going on vacation. You are returning home as African people in their right conscious divine states of mind. Ayiko! Yae! Ayiko! Yae! Ayiko! Yae! You have done well. And I know out of all the families and friends and adversities that you have gone through, you have passed through the highways, skyways, and byways, and your family and people and workers and friends have said, why you want to go to Africa? Don't they have Ebola? Don't they have coronavirus? Don't they live in trees? Don't they have this, that, and the other? No. The media has been giving you false information because they do not want you to see how we are living and what we are doing in Africa. Meanwhile, those people of not of African ancestry are the ones that are coming here and they are trying to take this land again. But you are the soldiers coming through the land with the ambassadors like Bomani, Africa for the Africans. You have to come and see for yourself. So at this time, I would like to say a big ayako to our brother ambassador, once again, Brother Bomani, continuing doing the work of the overground railroad, not hiding, not running, not scared of anyone, but boldly coming forward and bringing more people to the land of their natural ancestors. And so Bomani, we give you applause and continue to do your work. And what no man can put asunder, nobody can stop his work. They have tried, they have hated, but the brother Absolutely has gone tried. through all kind of adversity. He has stood up against the course of all kind of haters, and yet still he stands and continues to do this work. He came here in years, 30 group members, 40 group members, and now it's back to 20 group members. Beautiful. We are coming back to incline out of all the atrocities that's been committed upon this brother, he still stands as our great warrior Harriet Tubman did. He's doing the same work at the Overground Railroad, taking you in the light of broad daylight. No shame, no hide, no guilt. Bringing you over here legally, lawfully. Bringing Africans to the land of their natural access to inheritance. Brother Bormani, we applaud you always. We want to say on camera, that is one of our ambassadors at One Africa, Asheo. Now we come to a very significant aspect of why you are here. You have come to receive your proper names. And yes, names are important because names are frequency, right? Every name that you have in your lifetime, when you are a child, your mother gives you a nickname. Oh, put in, oh, boo -boo, oh. Those are significant names. And as you grow in life and have experiences, you get to school, school age. They give you names. You play sports, they give you names. Names have frequency and vibration. And vibration means your energy, how people see you and describe you. We had one brother that said he was the greatest. Right. Muhammad Ali, yeah. was he the greatest? Absolutely. The greatest. He named himself the greatest. Now we have to reclaim our names because we have an epoch in time where we want to reclaim, restore, repair, and remember who we are as African people. Is it true? It's true. Yes, it's the truth. We had times when we was living in Babylon 
where we even gave ourselves names that we refused to continue to wear their names. So we made up names to call ourselves other than what they had given us. Y'all remember those times? Somewhere in the 70s, we became who? Laquisha. Coquanda. Croatia. We didn't know the meaning of those names, but we knew we had to give ourselves some names different from the names that we had been wearing. Eric, David, Daniel, Robert, Erica. We said, no, those are not our names. And we began to come up with names on our own. Shortly after that, we began to say, no, we belong to the motherland of all lands. And we need to call ourselves by our original names. And here we are today having this beautiful naming ceremony. Now you might hear in Ghana, you have a lot of names that start with the letter K. And you hear a lot of names that have Kwa. Why is this? It's very significant. I'm not going to do this very long because we're going to get straight to the names, but if you want to ask me more about it, maybe later tonight or tomorrow, whenever in passing, I had a lot of great conversations. I've been here 26 years. I've only gone back to Brooklyn once. And I could just say I don't miss too many things over there, but what I miss is us. When I see you all, I see my family, I see my uncles, I see my brethren. When I see the way you wear your caps, the way your steez, the way you walk, it reminds me of my people that I haven't seen in many years and probably will never see face to face again. But I see my family members in your smiles. I see your styles. And it makes me love the work that I do because I don't travel anymore. I used to travel. I went all over the world like many of you have. I'm an original Brooklyn b-boy. I'm a hip hop break dancer. I went on tours with the first major tours out of New York City. I grew up with the likes of Run DMC, Houdini, LL, and all of them came behind us. Public Enemy, they came behind us. Chuck D, they came behind us. I've been in France, I've been in places. I've, I've performed in front of 20,000 people at a time. And now I chose to be here in Africa, the land of our natural ancestral inheritance. Why? I didn't run away from anything. I was okay over there. But I wanted to be around us. And here I am. Here we are and here you are. The significance of your names. In Ghana, West Africa, every alphabet, most of the alphabet, the letters are connected to a particular symbolic expression. So the reason why you have a lot of K is because this is what K is. K is this letter right here. It's a double helix with one of the helix wrapped around the other helix like this. K is like this. And it is an abbreviation. If you extend the abbreviation of K, K would look like this. And if you know about symbols, there's only one symbol that this is. Can y'all think of what this is? What did this symbol represent? The medical state. Good. Medical, right off the bat. You recognize this. This is a short abbreviation. K only showed you this. Bam! And West Africa have adopted K for their names. And the K further medical, this is the abbreviation of DNA. If I extend K, K goes like this. And this is what the two strands of DNA look like. They just cut it off and made the symbol like this, K. If I extend K, K is DNA. Now why did African people choose DNA for all these names? Let's continue. You also hear a lot of Kwa. Have y'all noticed? Why do we have so much Kwa in Ghana? We have Kwame. Ku Kwa. Kwame. Kweku. See, all these Kwa, 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 Kwa with the letter K. African people knew that the symbol of DNA 
before they took it from us, they didn't invent any of this. We gave it to them, and they claim it as they discovered it, but they did not. The father of medicine is who? It's not Hippocrates that I studied in medical school. It's M. Hotep. You should have let them choose it himself. Go mind be quiet. <laughs> We're going to do a little class and challenge. M. Hotep, the father of medicine, brought this information. Our DNA is related to the God gene that came from the creative forces, God Almighty Goddess, the highest superior divine consciousness is why we chose the letter K to represent our bloodline as being the only species on the planet that have the God gene. Every other species, sorry, no hate, no racism, we're the only being on the planet that is 100% homo sapien. Get it, look it up, finish. Every other being is mixed with what? Neanderthal. The African genotype is the God gene. That's why we have K. And here is another way to show that. Kwa is the same all over the world. When you hear this expression, you hear Ja, Ya, Yahweh, Ja, Rastafari. You hear Na, Allah. Whenever you hear Ah, it means what? God Almighty Goddess. So when you hear Kwa in Ghana, we are saying God first. That's why we have Kwame, Ku Kwa, Kwezi, Kwame. Kwa means God. Now, in Ghana, West Africa, at the end of the name, you hear Da. Da means day. So if you are Wednesday boy, you hear Kuku U Da. Da means day. Now you gotta say, what does the Kwa mean? It means God. In the middle of the word, U U Da means something. So I'll ask you this. Here is something for the biblical students. The African story of creation, we know it took how many days for creation? Seven. Seven days. Each day a particular event is what the God forces did. Now, I'm going to challenge you. What is the first day of the week? Sunday. We all agree it's Sunday. Okay. If we all agree it's Sunday, the etymology of our West African names, that is the meaning of the West African names, is related to the event that took place on the creation day of Sunday. Now, do we remember and know what happened on Sunday? We said it's the first day. What did the creative forces, God Almighty, do on Sunday? What happened? He created the heavens and the earth. Okay, everybody? Everybody agree? Created the heavens and the earth. Good. It's a good start. Now let's go to the meaning and the etymology of our West African name. The name on Sunday is what? Kwa Asida. Kwa Asida. Kwa Asida. Sunday. Sunday born. Kwa, we established, means God. Da means day. Look at the center of the word. Asida. Do y'all know what God did on Sunday? God ascended from the heavens on that day, came down. Some people say God rested on Sunday, right? That's the day of rest. The pastors are teaching God rested on Sunday. God don't need to rest on Sunday because God just started the work of what? Creation. Don't need to rest on the first day. Just getting started. Ascended down from the heavens to start the work of creation is the name that you have been given in West Africa. Kwa Asida, or sometimes today it's been hyphenated. We say Kwa Si or Kwe Si. You see, the names have been watered down. But the original name is Kwa Asida. God ascended down from the heavenly plane to the earthly plane to start the creation work. 
And each day of creation is just like that. Not only is it just like that, but the event on that day is closely related to your spirit and your character. This is why when you have these names and you are called Kofi and Kwame and Kwesi, the event, what happened on that creation day is closely related to your spirit and character. And I'll prove it to you tonight. Many of you are gonna have different names. And the names are related to the event that happened on that day. And it is a part of your personality and your spirit and your character. Are y'all ready? Yeah. All right. It's gonna get deep. <laughs> 